All right, so you're just talking about how your your daddy's car got stuck in the mud. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm, so that was it. <laughs> All right, but eventually you made it. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, then the uh, first day in classroom, do you remember? I don't think I do remember. Mm. Early days was quite boring. <laughs> we were just bouncing from class to class. The lectures are not really. Um, was it wasn't in full swing, so we we're missing some action. We did. We, we felt like my school was so boring, highly anticipated, all fired up, and somehow nothing yeah, was happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just a little child, you guys be patient, you know, <laughs> and truly they knew what they were saying. Yeah, when it, it kicked off, it was a real deal. First year, we had some non-scoring courses, um, some analytical chemistry, um, physical chemistry, some funny, funny courses. <laughs> uh, Charlie, it was a complete waste of our time, man. But it was tough. And you know, even though it was non-scoring, Charlie, you know, yeah, yeah. the competition that was in, in our mm -hmm. class, you know, people really wanted to be on yeah, top of their game, yeah. that kind of thing. <clears throat> and from second year, that was the real deal, the anatomy kicked in, the physiology and all those, pharmacology and them, it was hustle. Mm -hmm. And there was never enough uh, classroom space, so we always had to keep running from one lecture theater to the other, you have to run actually, and you go sweating, Renewable natural resources were running there for genetics uh, lecture. Hey, it was horrible. I just didn't couldn't fit into the system. I said, ah, <laughs> university, and you're running <laughs> just to get a, a seat. Yeah. You know that the, the auditorium could be packed with people standing outside. And I was really wondering how. Initially, I thought it was not serious. Like it wouldn't count. So even when it was time for exam, it was uh, like. Uh, is it really going to <laughs> count at all? Yeah, but those were some funny, funny. Yeah, did you experience something like that? Yeah, I think it's a, it was the same. Mm -hmm. We trained for seven years. The first year was basically a revision, a recap of the stuff we did in senior high school. Okay. We were doing math, statistics, physics. I mean, medical physics. Yeah, genetics. Yeah, just those stuff. Mm -hmm. quite boring because these were stuff we had done in senior high school for like four years we were basically revising all these stuff again mm -hmm. so well I, I was back in senior high school i was a very serious student i wasn't missing classes right. but i remember first year university challenge i was missing classes <laughs> somehow <laughs> yeah. somehow somehow yeah. i realized that uh, yeah. like that uh -huh. <laughs> but somehow you see along the line you sort of, sort of uh, come to the realization that Charlie eat, Charlie, you know, yeah. you know, uh -huh. yeah. I have to sit up, oh, and yeah. you know, it can be intimidating. It has its ups and downs. Some people were all fired up. Uh, I was very, very fired up after um, senior high. But those two years, we were the batch that stayed in the house for two years before entering university, and somehow it made you, you know, a bit. Like a day yeah. when it comes to learning. Right. So when we entered, we were a little bit, well, for me, learning was a bit difficult for me, trying to readjust to the university environment after having stayed there for two years. Yeah, it was into something, but uh, gradually, you know, topsy turvy, you know, slippery slope, but we're able to push and uh, see. Did you have this thing like clicks mm. in school, that the bees connect here? Uh, street guys here, <laughs> we smokers there, drinking, <laughs> up and uh, what are what are the other groups, uh, what do you call them? Christian Medical, mm -hmm. yeah, CMS, yeah, CMS. Yeah, CMS. Christian Medical Fellowship yeah. to doing their own thing. Mm -hmm. um, what, what, what groups did you have? Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, CMF, Christian Medical Fellowship. Mm. It's all over. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I wasn't the very sociable type back in school, so Charlie. Mm, yeah, to bring to you yeah. also. Yeah. All right. All right. So, um, finally, finally, you tell us about all your exams periods. Of course, mm -hmm. examination in the school was quite intense, yeah. Yeah. especially oral exams. Yeah. They were very quite intense. I trilled two papers. I have trilled. 
uh, biochemistry, I trailed pharmacology. In biochemistry was the first one I trailed, and I didn't understand it. One lecturer was teaching it, I never understood, and I was sometimes skipping lectures, quizzes, I wasn't doing well. So I, I trailed out this paper, biochemistry, and how to risk it. Fourth year, I wanted to travel to the US. You know, this student work program, that kind of thing. I wasn't learning, I was using all my time and resources to organize and travel to the US. The US visa bounced, and I also trailed from ecology. So I wasn't learning it. You know, I wasn't even submitting assignment. My log, I wasn't submitting, I was a huge mess onto my own self. But those were the, um, the downsides of uh, all that I did. Uh, those were very terrible times. But uh, whilst I was writing for ecology, Planjru, may he so rest in peace, Professor Planjru came around and told me that, hey, I should hurry up and get out of here. There's no way I should be. So he really motivated me to, you know, that was in the exam hall. So I told him that, no, I don't belong where I'm sitting. I should try and pass and move on to the clinicals. Oh. And yeah, I do remember him, you know, coming around. I was really quite embarrassed, you know, sitting there, you know, doing that research. Where I knew I could have done better and moved on. Yeah. Did you have some bad times? Bad times. Yeah. First year, mm -hmm. well, because basically it was a recap of the stuff we did in senior high school. It was cool. Mm -hmm. I started off very well. First class, being a first class room. Mm. GP of 4.7 out of 5. It wow. wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. Wow. First year wasn't bad. Mm -hmm. The second year, that was when we started the medical school proper. proper. Mm -hmm. Then it was, we started with some biochemistry, then some other funny, funny courses. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the biochemistry, well, I almost trailed that. Exam. I almost. I that trailed. Was, you almost trailed. <laughs> better. I scored like 50.2. That was strange because someone who was already recording mm. very higher marks, 4.7 hours. No, the med school programs can really rock you. Yeah. It yeah, can rock yeah. you. It's not like, it's nothing close to yeah. what biology, no. physics, chemistry. No, mm -hmm. it's a whole different era. Yeah. Whole different. Yeah. So 50.2, Charlie, it really rocked me. So then mm. I was like, hey, you don't belong there. Yeah. 50.2, yeah. nah. I belong to the 70s, 80s. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, don't belong there. Yeah, yeah. So I had to actually sit up. So okay. the other stuff, our exams was actually in blocks. All right. We weren't reading like courses like anatomy in parts, physiology in parts. It was actually integrated okay. into block systems. So if you are doing this block about the GIT, you do the anatomy components. The physiology, biochemistry components, the pharmacology components, yeah, like eh? the same. Mm -hmm. So that well, was that more was, effective. Yeah, very effective. Mm -hmm. So that was our system. It was organized into blocks. We were writing exams almost every five weeks. Almost wow. every five weeks. So Charlie, there was no time. After this block, you have to set up, prepare for the next one. There were others who would, well, of course, sleep hard, or like the fourth week, that's when they would start studying. But then mm. the 50.2 actually, <laughs> <laughs> I don't want that happening anymore. So I had to start wow. from day one, read. Then by God's grace, it got better. It yes. got far better. Third yeah. year, I remember third year, I got straight age throughout. Wow. Seven blocks. I got straight uh, age. You were hot. <laughs> you were really, really hot. Yeah. Yeah, I thought. Uh, preclinical days, I was okay, but I have my, uh, my downside, like I told you, you know, so, when I got to, I uh, see, med school was difficult. The academic, academic material was such that if I didn't understand something in full, I wasn't willing to commit it to memory. I was that type. Wow. I always wanted to understand, understand something very, very well before I memorize it. Mm. And that was going against me. Mm. I also didn't like past questions. I somehow didn't believe that past questions could be you know, brought to exams. And I was wondering why would the examiner yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. bring past questions, knowing very well that Students I could have topics, access yeah, to it. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. But Pasco, Pasco always Charlie drop, and I was not getting <laughs> a scoring. I was, and it was beating me every year. Stop only, Pasco will be repeated, and I wouldn't get um, 
It's not like I don't have access to maybe if you cry, you know, I wouldn't even look through the, the questions. It was such a stupid thing I was doing. And it affected my grades sometimes. Oh. Yeah. But clinical year, I had to set up and, you know, um, you know, the usual ONG, surgery. I think I like surgery. I think I like medicine. I like, I like, I think I like almost every aspect of clinical medicine. Um, the clinical work. And um, that was, uh, and finally, finally, we passed, you know. Um, final year, let me share my experience with you. Surgery, I do remember it very well. Sticky. <laughs> Sticky, who has passed? That's Sticky. Uh, Professor. What is his name? His nickname was Sticky. Yeah. Um, so he examined me. And apparently, a lot of the people, I've heard of his name, that he was trailing some of our colleagues. And I didn't know him. So I went in, examined by him, not knowing that he was the one called Sticky. Um, and Sticky examined me, took me through some incisional hernia and some other. I thought I was doing fine. And I think it was good I didn't know that he was the one trailing people. Mm -hmm. And so it came out well. I was very comfortable with answering questions and it, uh, it was quite a nice experience I had with him. So when I came out, and I asked, so who was that professor who examined me? Professor Rudolph, um, oh, what's his name? Rudolph, 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 Rudolph. Yes. He has also unfortunately passed. He passed in 2004. Yes. Um, after returning from Nigeria, it was a uh, West African conference. Uh, so Sticky passed me. <laughs> and some, I think, seven of the people that either three before me or two after me or whatever combination it was didn't pass. So that year was some hemorrhage for surgery. I mean, people Charlie trailed the thing and it was Charlie. Those who have not trailed before, Charlie, it was uh, hue and cry. Oh. Mm. You finished today, yeah, I think the results took like 48 hours to trickle in and you knew your your state and yeah. i was yeah. waiting to quickly go do stuff elsewhere <laughs> <laughs> so i needed that result as soon as it dropped and we filled the forms and where we're going for house job i was off i was gone mm -hmm. gone to pursue uh, look for something to take care of my own things you know mm -hmm. so that was med school final year for me yeah that was how it was it was uh, quite, I think, 25th July 2008. Mm -hmm. Yes. And uh, I mean, you could feel the weight off you. Yeah. Yeah. And when you passed, mm -hmm. you couldn't um, have that kind of. It wasn't like the yay yeah. moment. It was like, oh, it was some relief. Mm -hmm. It was okay. You couldn't scream and jump around because there were others too who were mourning, mm -hmm. sobbing quietly. Yeah. Unfortunately, some very close friends very of close, mine, yeah, yeah. you know, so you just have to, you know, be happy about compose yourself just so you don't offend other people's yeah. um, privacy. So that was how it is. How was it for you? Well, it was cool to final year, well, final part two. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I was told by some residents that actually final part two is actually the most difficult exam you would ever as a medical student mm -hmm. they, they claim that part two is more difficult than even residency that's what some were saying oh wow <laughs> yeah that's what some were saying and they said the final part two is actually the most difficult ever in your career as a medical doctor <laughs> so the preparation into it charlie you actually prepared very much i remember quite a couple of my colleagues were i wasn't the study group type but right. I had to join. I really had to join that study group. Because clinical year, well, you needed some of your colleagues to practice with, to perfect your skills. All right. Mm -hmm. So I had to study with quite a couple of my mates who were really helpful, who were really, really, really helpful. So it came out so well. Internal medicine, surgery, 
it was all cool. Credits, ending up with credits. Wow. And pediatrics, I happened to have had distinction. Wow. That wow, was so wow, cool. wow. I was so happy about that. Child health distinction. <laughs> Ooh. And I was examined by Prof. Entry too. So you can okay. Imagine. Okay. That man was just shouting at me at the exam room. So I was just surprised. Then I was so like, he's like that because he didn't know. He, oh. he will so really, confused. really hold your toes.